learning how to make pilchard curry with TV personality and actor Pete Bennett. Not only are we going to be tasting it and marking it out of 10, we're also going to learn how to make it step by step. Today I'm going to make Pete's pilchard curry. Uh, something that happened by accident once uh, when I didn't have any food and I put all the bits together and it was very nice. Right, I've got some pilchard, some uh, red curry paste, uh, well, I don't know what that is, um, some ginger, mushrooms, pineapple, no that's not a pineapple, that's an onion, <laughs> sorry. Um, uh, uh, Oh, what's this called again? <laughs> and, and, and a mango. Uh, just, just, just to put... I know it sounds weird, but I'm going to try putting a mango in this one. <laughs> you know, little bits of square bits, you know, for the uh, yummy flavour. I don't know, it might go wrong. <laughs> I can't remember where to start, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. What's going on? Hey. Ah, f <laughs> As soon as that knife comes out, that's when it all goes wrong. <laughs> hey. I'm going to put a big blade... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to put a big blob of red curry paste in the pan <laughs> with some onions like that and stir them together. Mm -hmm. Fried together, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Just added some tomatoes uh, on top of that to make the base. As you can see, it's looking yummy. Actually, Let's have a little taste of this a sec. Mm -mm. Oh. oh, that's got a kick to it. That's very nice. <laughs> I don't know, I like my carrots big and fat. Because I like to have a good old bit of <laughs> I like to crunch them, you know what I mean? In the pot again. <laughs> and, and stir it about. And see what, and see what the flavour says. Oh, by God. I'm gonna put some uh, coconut milk in it because this is what um, cause it's very strong and like spicy at the moment. But I think uh, it'd be nice to have a little bit of cream. Yeah? So nice and gorgeous that, eh? Cushy. <laughs> Lovely. Um, yeah. Wow, this is uh, coming along nicely. Hopefully, I haven't just ruined it. So, yeah, let's stir it in the pot. I've already put one tin of pilchards in and it tastes yummy, but it is a pilchard curry, so I've got to put more in! Alright, there we go, alright. Mmm, more pilchards! <laughs> oh, cool, blimey. And I stir the pilchards in, yes. <laughs> nice, mmm. More tomatoes! <laughs> Mushrooms! Nice. One cool shit! <laughs> Right, um, for two people, well, I'd say half a glass of rice. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, last ingredient, coriander. Nice and chopped. <laughs> oh, here we go, I'm gonna put a bit of mango on the side. Uh, this is just this is just for uh, this is just an experiment basically to um, <laughs> have a bit of mango on the side as well just because I like it. There you go. I should have got some cherry tomatoes, bollocks. I've ruined everything. I should have got some cherry tomatoes. Might be absolutely hideous. It's my <laughs> no, I wouldn't eat this. What have I made? I mean, this is gorgeous, yeah, this, this is going to be cushy. I'm a bit scared, <laughs> I'm a bit scared, to be honest. Here we have a pilchard curry. Mmm, yummy. Mm. Right then, so we've got the end result, and it, it smells really nice. The presentation's not quite like what you'd see on Ready Steady Cook. Well, I wasn't going for presentation, I was going for the f***ing <laughs> food! <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Yeah, let's have a taste. I mean, it smells really nice. It looks good. The, the, the main concern I have is the pilchards in the curry. I do like pilchards, but I would normally have it on toast or something like that. Never in a curry. And now I'm a little bit nervous, but it, do, it smells all right. Mmm. I'll tell you what, it is actually quite, it's quite hot. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> mm. 
It's surprisingly nice. I didn't think pilchards in the curry would be nice. Mmm. It is. It's, it's quite hot. It's, I think it was the, the red Thai curry paste in there. But no, so was, I'm going to go. If I had to give it a mark out of 10, I would probably say I'm going to go for 8.5 out of 10. See, with a curry, I'd normally always have chicken or beef, lamb, even pork. Never thought of any fish, but saying that, people do have prawn curries. And you would never think twice about having a prawn curry, so why not pilchards? Maybe this is a new thing.